The San Luis Rey Watershed Council wants to help you learn how to install a rain tank, also called a rain cistern, at your home. Installing a rain tank to capture rainwater is one easy step that you can take that helps us all in efforts to reduce wasting water. In this video, you'll learn why it's important to install a rain tank, even here in sunny San Diego, how to design your system, a step-by-step -step guide on how to install your rain tank system, and how to properly maintain your system. Most Americans use over half of their drinking water to water their yards, and the amount goes up even more in warmer climates like ours. This seems like a huge waste, especially considering how expensive water is to treat, store, and transport to your home, which in turn you pay for. Just one inch of rain on a 1,000 square foot roof can capture 600 gallons of water. That adds up to a lot of water, even in our semi-arid San Diego. Depending on where you live in San Diego County, there's usually between 10 and 20 inches of rain each year. That equals a lot of free water for you. There are many more reasons why having a rain tank is so important. One, along with it being a free source of water for you, plants love this soft water, especially veggies. Two, it reduces local flooding and storm drain pollution, which helps keep our oceans cleaner and healthier to swim in. When excess water is picked up from our yards and streets, it carries pollutants like pesticides, oil from vehicles, and other contaminants, which go into the storm drains and then travel out to our rivers and oceans. Everything that you catch first saves this water from that harmful cycle. Three. Another important reason to have a tank is to reduce the amount of water that we need to get from Northern California or from the Colorado River. And four, it helps increase our groundwater, which many of our communities rely on, including our wildlife. If every single family home in San Diego County added a rain tank, there would be 560 million gallons of local water stored. To show how much water this is, imagine 848 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled full, or more than 100 million dishwasher cycles, or almost four Rose Bowl stadiums full of water. Let's look at how to design your rainwater tank. Step one, draw a quick sketch of your rooftop showing where all the gutters and downspouts go. This is the easiest place to start saving money. If you can redesign your gutter system to drain in as few places as possible, this will create cost savings for getting your water to the fewest tanks possible. Now, calculate how many square feet are in each section of your roof. This helps you figure out how much water you can harvest and what size tank you should get. There are online calculators that will assist you by doing the math. Now you need to estimate what's your average rainfall. In the San Luis Rey watershed, we tend to get around 12 inches of rain every year, although some areas like Palomar Mountain can get up to 40 inches a year. Once you know how much rainwater you can expect to collect, you can figure out what size tank to get. The larger the tank, the more water you can collect. Tanks come in all shapes and sizes, from round to tall, and rectangular containers that fit along your wall. The round ones are the most cost effective. We recommend that you start with at least a 500 gallon tank. Where should you place your tank? You can place your tank anywhere in your yard, as long as the part of the pipe that is glued under the downspout is higher even by an inch than the inlet to the tank, so gravity will move your water. If you want to bury your tank, you will need a pump to get the water out. Next, consider how you will use your water. The most cost-effective way is to use a hose or faucet with gravity. You can consider using drip irrigation if you have enough pressure. 
either from height differential between the tank and the planted area or with a pump. Now it's time to order your tank. Here are a couple sources where you can order, but keep in mind that during the rainy season there can be a delay getting your tank due to the high demand. On to step two, building your rain tank platform. When filled, these tanks weigh a lot, so you want to make sure they have a stable base to rest on. Pouring a concrete pad is not preferable because the flow and settling of water in the tank can crack the foundation. When you have your tank and you know where you want it to go, you're ready to build your platform. There are many different ways to build a platform. One way to do this is shown here. First, clear and flatten the area. Then install a ring of blocks and backfill the area with some gravel, making sure it's level. Before you place your tank on the new base, make sure that the overflow pipe is facing away from your house foundation. Step three, connecting your rain tank to the downspout. You'll need to first disconnect and remove your downspout from the gutter. Then install a rain head leaf filter. This keeps out the large debris like leaves and dead animals and sometimes the gravel or asphalt from the roof. This will help prolong the life of your rain tank and give you better water quality. Next, install a first flush device. This allows you to divert dust, pollen, bird poop, and any fine sediment that gets past the leaf filter. Once this pipe fills up, the remaining rainwater is diverted to your rain tank. Lastly, connect the pipe coming off the rain head filter to your rain tank. Congratulations, you are done with your rain tank installation. The last step, step four, is maintaining your rain tank for continued use. Here are just a few more tips that you'll want to follow to keep your system working properly. One, make sure you leave your first flush device a little open so it can drain after each storm. Two, clean out the first flush device each year. And three, if you're using a smaller rain tank, make sure it's screened so that no mosquitoes can get in. Here are some additional resources to help you. We want to thank the California Department of Fish and Wildlife for help with funding, the California Conservation Corps for their labor, and Catching H2O for consultation and hands-on installation examples. The San Luis Rey Watershed Council thanks you for your interest and support in saving our water resources. By installing a rain tank, you are truly helping the community, the environment, yourself, and your family.